Alright, so in this video, we're going to be going over the end of file, EOF, end of file in C programming. In learning about the end of file and using characters versus using ints, it was very, very confusing to me. So I spent a fair bit of time reading about it and I figured, you know what, since there was no YouTube videos on it or a few things to know in terms of the end of file, this one here, when we're looking for it. So when we are looking for it, the one thing to note is that it's not a character. It doesn't return back a character value. It's also not a value that exists at the end of files. So if you can see there, when I hover over it in Visual Studio Code, it says define EOF minus one. So it's also not a value that you know exists somewhere within a file. So it's not a character. It doesn't. It doesn't come at the end of a file. It's got some value somewhere um, that you can find within a file. What EOF is? is it's a macro that is defined as an integer and it has a negative value hence you can see that it expands to minus one so what you look what you're looking for whenever you're checking for this end of value file within a file even though i say within a file, it's not within a file what you what, you, what the program is checking for is to wait for a macro to receive the negative value uh, to, to print out basically or to give out the negative value um so it's normally returned from functions that uh, usually when they're performing read operations um, to tell the compiler that there was even an error or it's at the end of the input or as we use it end of file like in this context here I've got a file called my file this is all that's in the file hello everyone hammered here there is no EOF that exists within this file right that's one thing one thing to keep in mind there is no EOF that exists within this file um, so since the return value of the EOF is negative, um, we need a variable that could store the negative integer. So you, you can have the choice of obviously using an integer or you can use a character. So in this instance, I can put character C and both of those would work. Obviously, I'd have to remove the other ones. Um, now, the reason why sometimes character won't work by itself is depending on the compiler, if it uses signed or unsigned. If you don't know the difference, Google it. Um, signed is basically a number that can be positive or negative. And then unsigned is a number that can only be positive. And um, when you learn about binary uh, digits, that will kind of make more sense. Um, and like things like two's complement. Um, all right, so one thing to think about is that integers in C are obviously larger than characters in C. So when if you think about that, an int is larger in bits than a character, right? So these two ints and characters can never have the same um they can never have the same and or a negative int could never be the same value as a character. Um I understand what that means and I hope you understand what that means but if you don't you're gonna have to google it um, I think you're gonna have to learn about bytes uh, and binary first but yeah so an int can never a negative int can never be the same value as a character because it's, it's larger um, uh, so depending on how the compiler deals with characters in this instance I'm, I've said looks it's signed or here I've put unsigned but if you just leave it blank as, char as character depending on how the compiler deals with it um, the EOF stored in the variable it could match uh, perfectly to the, the value of the EOF the, the minus one here or if it deals with the characters in an unsigned way it more than likely it won't match in fact it, def it won't match and so what, you will, what will end up happening is that you'll be looking for the EOF and you've stored it into an unsigned character and it's just not going to find it and then what's going to happen is your program is going to loop and keep looping through so you even need to use a signed character so that it can match the EOF perfectly um, even then I'm not convinced that it will match perfectly all the time but I don't know that um, but the best thing to use is to use an integer so one of the best one of the ways that you can test this is if you copy the code um, this code here and then run it but comment out one of these one of uh, two of these three so if I start off by commenting out these two and then running the file actually you know what, let's let's do an in first so we've got integer C we'll, it will return an error if we don't have the file if the 
file's not able to open, so don't worry about that. Um, and then when the file's open, you'll read through the file and then print each character one by one, right? Yeah, as long as it's not the end of file, right? And so this end of file, you know, each character is getting stored into this integer. Each character is being stored um, here, sorry, in there, until it gets to here, and then it closes the file, right? Let's run it. So I forgot I need to show you. Let's um, to go. There we go. Yeah. So um, you can see it says hello everyone. I'm right here. So when I then um, let's close this now. When I then so that's that's it as an integer. If I do it as a signed character and run it. Hello everyone, how it here? Again, right? So both times that worked. Now remove the signed and put unsigned and it shouldn't match. And there you go, you can see I don't know what, I don't know if you can see but it's basically just looping through the whole file. So let's scroll up. You can see it says hello everyone hammered there. But then it's just going crazy. It's looking, 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 continuously stuck in your loop. Looking for something that doesn't exist. So, um, so yeah, so I suppose that's, that's going to be my best explanation of it. Hopefully that makes sense. Best thing I'd say to do is to copy this code and then try it with each, each of these for yourself. Cool. Right. Thanks for watching.